Gat Karm here on a beautiful Minecraft day. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Gat Pack uh, Cool Tools Data Pack. So, and I'll explain as we're going along what makes it unique. Uh, some of the tools that we'll be talking about, um, we'll finish up with the wrench because it's the most involved discussion. Uh, but we'll also be talking about the bed, the compass, the clock, the bow, the bone, and the map. So, let's start with the map. If a player holds a map anywhere in their hotbar, it will display for you the biome that you are in. Uh, it just kind of helps when you're out exploring. You're to find so here on the river, come back this way, I'm back in the plains. Over here should be Savannah. So it's just uh, a little feature, any map, it doesn't matter. If it's a blank map, uh, duplicated map, doesn't matter, any map, any map in your hotbar. And the compass, putting a compass anywhere in your hotbar, will display for you your compass heading and your grid coordinates. Again, so you don't have to open up the big old ugly F3 screen just to see where you are. Uh, just run around with the compass there. If you are wearing an elytra, it will also show you your pitch, which helps when you're trying to maximize your flight distances and such. Now, a clock um, doesn't do anything when it's in your hotbar, per se. But having a clock anywhere in your inventory will tell you when the sun is setting and when the sun is rising as an alarm clock. So let's demonstrate that. We'll put the sun near sunset. And there's the alarm clock telling us uh, the darkness is coming. Since it's dark, uh, we'll take advantage of that and show off the bed. You ever been on a server and you're trying to tell everybody you're sleeping so they'll sleep too? This will let you know. It has a display on the screen over here. In bed. Gat Kong is in bed. So that way people know you're sleeping. But uh, back to the alarm clock. So it alerts you when the sun is setting. It also alerts you when the sun is rising. And you'll notice it didn't alert when I slept. That's because the sun came up um, due to sleeping. So it doesn't need to let you know you knew that already because you were in bed. But it doesn't have to be in your hotbar, just anywhere in your inventory. If you have a bow, sometimes it's nice to see how many arrows you've got. And so you put them in your hotbar. But that takes up a space in your hotbar, so the bow, when you hold it in your hand, will tell you how many arrows you have. Let me get into uh, survival, and you'll see how it keeps track of your arrow count. And then when you're not holding the bow, uh, the arrow count fades so it doesn't distract. The bone will tell you a little bit about yourself. Uh, the bone sort of being the representation of death. It'll tell you how long you've been alive, how many deaths you've had, and how long it's been since your last death. I haven't died yet, so I've been messing around in this world for two hours and 35 minutes. That is real time, so it'll tell you your human time, not your Minecraft time. And then uh, foods um, offer some benefits to them. I don't know about you, but I can never remember how much health certain foods provide or how long the saturation lasts or uh, sometimes you forget what special effects they might offer. So steak will provide you 8 health and uh, 12 saturation and then it'll even tell you about negative effects like the spider eye provides 2 health um, but it also gives you uh, poison and then things like the apple you get health, absorption, uh, things like that. So it, it shows you those things so you don't have to wonder. Just take a look. So those are the foods. Now there are some tools that uh, don't exist in the vanilla Minecraft, one of them being the sextant. So I will make one of those for you. Or will I? Okay, I wasn't in a creative GUI. Oh, that's strange, why isn't the sextant coming up? Let me teach myself all the recipes. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, the sextant. I just forgot to uh, renew all the recipes for this world. But um, the sextant is a tool that combines the compass, the clock, and a couple other features. So um, the sextant, you'll see it is behaving like a compass. It is in my hotbar and it is providing me my grid coordinates and my um, compass heading. And um, when you select 
the sextant, it works like a telescope, so it magnifies. But it also tells you how away, how far away things are that you're looking at. So like that barrel is 12 meters away, that tree is 208 meters away, that mountain peak is 237 meters away, and the mountain peak behind it is 238 meters away. So sometimes it's helpful when you're digging or uh, planning to know how far things are. You can measure them. The other thing that the sextant is doing, if you look at it, it's in my right hand, you can see the clock is displayed on there. You see the sun? So let me move over here, I can change the time. So I will make it nighttime to watch the clock change on the sextant. See, it behaves like the clock does too. So let me make the sun rise again. And there's the sun rising again. So it behaves as a clock, a compass, and a, uh, a sextant telling you how far away you are to things. Pretty, pretty versatile too versatile tool. Try to say that twice. Um, another tool I want to demonstrate is the wrench. Now there's a lot of wrench data packs out there, but I think you'll see that my wrench data pack is like no other. Uh, of course, the first thing it does is it's going to rotate um, blocks, but it can't rotate blocks that don't have rotation in VT. So you can't rotate grass, you can't rotate the crafting table, but you can rotate uh, many other blocks. Let's see how that works. Um, and it can rotate even command blocks and chests. Well, okay, uh, I'm glad I did that because it's a this block has a GUI, so it opened it instead of rotating it. So if you want to rotate a block that has a GUI, you need to um, crouch, and then you can rotate the block. Um, and that works even for chests that have stuff inside them. Let's spread this bone meal around into a particular pattern, and we're going to rotate this chest. See? Still in there. Um, that is one of the things that sets my wrench data pack apart from other wrench data packs. Uh, most of the other ones that I've ever seen, it has to be an empty chest or you'll lose everything that's in it. Uh, but mine will rotate even more chests. And that is true for any of the containers. Rather, it's a barrel. Rotate it. it still keeps its contents. Uh, the blast furnace, you can still rotate it. it keeps its contents. I won't need to rotate every one of these blocks, but the dispensers, the droppers, the hoppers, um, even the uh, lectern, see, it's not losing the book, and um, the smoker, of course. So. Uh, the sound effects, too. You hear the sound effects. Those are unique to my data pack. But um, here we have steps, and a lot of the wrench data packs will allow you to rotate a step in the north, south, east, west direction. But if you're like me, the big mistake I make when I'm laying down steps is I put them in upside down. So this wrench will allow you to go through all eight phases of a step in order to correct your mistake. There you are. And uh, the other thing I want to point out is you notice that stone things sound like stone. Uh, but other blocks have different sound effects. Um, the pumpkin, for example, sounds like a pumpkin. The bone sounds like bone. Whatever bone sounds like, right? Uh, a wood sounds like wood. And hay sounds like hay. The lectern, we already did that one. We don't need to take that book. Uh, but the other thing that my data pack allows you to do is to adjust half slabs. Sometimes you accidentally stick it in the wrong half. You meant to be the top half or the bottom half. You can, you can adjust those. Stone sounds like stone, wood sounds like wood. And the um, cutter. Like a cutter, anvil, sounds like an anvil, grinder, the boom, the barrel. Um, and yet another uh, aspect of my wrench, which I think is unique among data packs that do wrench activities, is uh, it'll even adjust 16 way blocks like signs. Um, now, look what it says on the sign. Due to a glitch in Minecraft, you can't target the sign's hitbox. That's true. and uh, it's, it's not a data pack issue. It's a Minecraft issue. If I am looking directly at the hitbox of the sign, it won't work. I don't know why. It's a Minecraft thing. But if I'm aimed at the sign, it will rotate it. Um, and you'll notice it's keeping the NVT of the sign. The message is still there. Same is true for banners. It'll keep the NVT of the banner. Um, player 12, um, uh, 
and each of the skulls has a different sound because they're different. Um, a lot of people don't know this. Creepers are made of grass, so it's not like, or I'm sorry, they're leaves. So like, this is the wither skeleton and the skeleton. So that's the different features of the Cool Tools data pack. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, happy Minecrafting, everybody. This is Gatcom saying goodbye.